Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and more importantly, welcome back to the Golden Knights Revenge Tour. The Seattle Kraken put us out in the playoffs in round two, I think, last year. So this year, we need to put them out. TJ's stats are pretty impeccable right now with a 167, 952, not a big deal or anything like that. So hopefully we can keep up the performance. I'll give you a brief rundown of our lines again. So Eichel, Arvidsson, and Kopp. I feel like that line is underperforming. One point from Eichel and one from Kopp not doing well liam has more like what are you guys doing achari's point a game so is goche our top line's doing just fine five points from nate and we have point a game from mark stone and from willie k we're still missing alex but we do got shane here 85 overall playing with zatch i know it's zach relax so hopefully we can get petrangelo back soon and if we go to the goalies you already know 87 overall with two abilities now so without further ado let's jump in and see if we can take the commanding 3-1 series lead or if seattle will push a best of three which is not a good scenario for us i mean it's not bad but we could have been 3-1, you know? First period will result in a 1-0 lead on the power play for Seattle. Second period is 2-0. That's not good. Here we go. We have a bit of a tall mountain to climb here, but I think we could do it. I've seen us score a few goals in the third period before, and we almost started with... Like that. Are you kidding me? What a phenomenal way to start this third period. Cut the lead in half, and now Seattle only has a one-goal lead. That was just destined to happen by the looks of it. The pressure we put up instantly was out of control. Stone left alone in front of the net, and he makes no mistakes. Let's go. Oh my. Stone almost tied it up. We have to tie it up at this rate. It's only been a minute, and we have scored and had a very, very close chance. So I really love the way that we have come out to play in this third period. Back to the point. That shot misses horribly. Past has got it. I threw it. They just did exactly what we did to them. On Like, that's the ultimate Uno reverse card. And it's reasons like that that hugging the post is a viable strategy sometimes. And I should probably do it. But I feel like historically it hasn't worked out well for me. I don't know. I'll just keep playing how I am and see what happens. Well, my bad, lads. We have to... Climb that same mountain again. We're down by two. Stone is playing outstanding right now. Connor Bedard goes in the middle to past. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to throw it out at this point. We got to get something going here. We can't deal with downtime. The momentum has to be shifted back in our favor. We came out with it. And then we lost it real quick from that goal. So, yeah, that was definitely my bad. What just happened? That was crazy. Jack Eichel. Show me the replay. I got to see what happened here. Because it didn't look like he had any angle. It honestly looked like he was behind the net. Nope. He was right at the line. And I think it did go off the goalie's back though. Either way. What a goal. So just like that, we are back to being down by a measly one goal. Hopefully, we can keep up this outstanding pressure that we have had and score another one. I strongly believe we're going to do it at this rate. <laughs> There'd be no reason for me to doubt them. Is it? Is it a breakaway? It is. Oh, no, it's not. He caught up to him. What was that? I passed it out. I tried to pass it out to the right. Thank you, NHL, once again. Oh, that was close. Fowler passed it down. Okay, hug the post. Yeah, get out of here. Nice try. Trying to pull another fast one on me. I don't think so. Maybe I should try to watch how the AI goalie plays. Like, do they hug the post a lot? Obviously, they have inhumane reaction and can slide across a lot faster than I ever could. But maybe they still use the post a lot? I'm curious now. Let's go ahead and watch Vili if we even get close to behind the net here. Nice. Achari battling for it. Look at this guy go. He's kind of hug. I have no idea how he's doing that. That is news to me. Nice pass. Rebound! Let's go! It's a tie hockey game with seven minutes left. A three-goal performance in this third period. And their lead is gone. Victor Arvidsson on the back door. Huso kicks it out with the left mini-wheat. And our player is there undefended. 
Tucks it in. I can't believe it. You know what? I can believe it. Let's go. Now we just got to keep the pressure up and try to not let in a goal. Way easier said than done. But I'm here for it. We've let in one in this game. And historically, I feel like we only let in one. In the games I jump into, it's usually one. The odd time, two. And honestly, more recently, I feel like we've been letting in none. So hopefully, history repeats itself in this game. Don't you dare. They are putting up a ton of pressure. I don't know how they got this momentum all of a sudden. And holy, trying to pull a fast one on me again. Thank you, Schultz. Here we go, Nate. In the middle to Schultz, who skates into three people and loses the puck. Not really surprised there. However, I am surprised that we're getting a power play. This would be the ultimate comeback. And we would be up 3-1 in the series. Nice shot, Nate. I like it. They can't even touch the puck right now. We are all over this team. Point shot, Billy Huso sees it the entire way. But for the last 151 of this game, we will be on the power play. That is, of course, assuming we don't score, which we very well might. So hopefully we do. And then we get the lead. And overtime is not needed. But, you know, I can't ask for too much here. They already scored three goals in this third period. So I got to count my blessings. Thank you guys for an outstanding third. We're now down to under a minute. I'll pass it over there because two of our players can curl and they do. Look at that breakout. Tries to headman it to Carter who loses it but fights for it back. Carter. Nice try. Wonderful individual effort. Ah, uh, it's probably not going to get to me. I'll just skate back. There you go, Goche. Man's point of game right now. Or maybe. I don't know if he's gotten one in this game. I think he hasn't. So... Could be point of game, and it would be a very crucial point of game. Definitely looks like we're headed to overtime. Pass that over to you. And yeah, we're headed to extra minutes, unfortunately. But I can't even, like, I can't ask for more. <laughs> the fact that we even got there is good enough for me. The power play has been killed off by the Seattle Kraken. And as a result, it will be five on five yet again. But, you know, that's where we were at our best. Why did he not shoot the puck sooner? Nate, we could have just won this hockey game if you didn't do whatever that was. Oh, we could still win. Oh my word. Big draw in from Nate. I like the passing. Good stuff. He almost floated that in. Bedard gets it and he takes it down the ice entirely. Here's he going for an end to end. No, he goes for a pass in the middle. But Nate, wonderful back check, takes that away. And now the Golden Knights headed back into Seattle's zone. They stepped up right away. Didn't let us get anything going. That's a good goal. That's a good goal. Fair enough, Pasta. The X-Factor one-timer in the slot. And we have a best of three. Certainly not one of TJ's better performances. But hopefully we shake off the ring rust there. I don't know what from, but in game number one... And we come out strong in game number two. We need to win this next game. Like, have to. I know that obviously we're not out if we lose the next game, but I feel like mentally we will be. Come on, Knights. Give me a good sim here. That's not good. But Dard with another power play goal. What's going on? Second period. Nice. White Cloud and Eichel put us up 2-1 heading into the third. All right. I got to be better this game. Last game was not it. Bedard shoots that into the glove. He gave me some space, and Shane was just chilling there. How could I say no to that? Do it. Thought he was going to pass to Nate. Thought he was going to pass to Nate, and that would have been a prime goal. But instead, now Pasta has a breakaway. No, he doesn't. Where's it going? Nice try, Marchi. Someone, please. That's not them. It was them. Good stuff. Okay. <laughs> Neither of them wanted it. I thought William Carlson was going to let their defense step up and just take it. But the defense was also like, nah, I'm good. Nice work along the boards. Schultz comes out with it now. Pass it over to Gosses Bear. Goes down low to Arvidsson. Tries to spin and get the shot off. But the Seattle Kraken shut him down on that attempt. Now here comes Tim Winston. Loses the puck. Bedard has it in the neutral zone. 14. 30 to go in this third period. And I cannot stress how important this game is. Tom Wilson almost gets dropped there. But, I mean, he's a tough customer. He's not going to go down easy.
I just got wrecked. Absolutely. By definition, wrecked. You're just... At this point, you're trolling. There's literally no way that this game of Plinko just happened in the slot. And it finds its way in the net. Who's behind the camera? Like, what kind of sick joke is this? No! So close. Huso almost coughed it up to us again with a pass. I'm having an absolute stinker in this video. It's not going well. Seattle is walking. They own me at this point. Completely rent-free in the boundaries of my skull. Jones is entering the zone. I love it. Step up, make the hit. Here goes Stone. Back the other way. He could have passed it to Nate. Oh, he did. Just took very long to do it. Yes! I thought he blew it. I thought he blew that big time. But somehow, some way, he scored a goal the very next day. I still have no idea. I think he just sort of dragged his stick and brought it five hole. Let's see here. Or maybe he did that on purpose. Nathan. You can't be doing that. That right there is a violation. That's how careers are ended. Jared McCann. Another very close opportunity. Don't you dare plinko me again. Absolutely not. I won't stand for it. Goes to the slot. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. I hey! Referee! No, I see how it is. I see how it is. Let's go. Let's go. Fight me right now. Literally this instant. Here we go. Vili Huso is about to have reason number two to retire tonight. Punch. Nice. Connect and dodge. Uppercut to the chin. Ooh, he blocked it there. And his punch was cancelled by <laughs> a grabbing animation. We take that. Nice connection and punch. Boom. Oh, Vili. You poor lad. He's gonna get clobbered. I wanna try the jersey tuck, but it doesn't let me. Go for a punch. You won't. He's literally not punching. He's scared. It's impossible. Jerseying just simply does not exist anymore. Anyway... GG no re. There's two things that I want to point out here. One, look how much fun Jimothy looks like he's having. He's got a smirk on his face. He absolutely loves it. Two, they did Vili Huso so dirty with that. I don't, it looks like a younger Ryan Whitney. Pasta with a high shot. No siree, Crosby. Look at this. He doesn't even get his number. Ha <laughs> ha. Sucks to suck. I almost guarantee you that Sydney the Kidney is going to be the one to score on me now. It's a done deal. No. I thought he was about to have a breakaway. But thankfully, we had someone back. And we also had a wonderful back check. Headed back the other way now. Carter almost gets it over to Jackery. But unfortunately, couldn't get it off on time. Pionk headmans it to Nachushkin, who tries to get it in deep. Gets rocked while doing so, but somewhat succeeds still. Jack, across the cop, who's in over the line. He absolutely muscled past that hit. Made it look like nothing, and then he almost scored. We're playing well. We are. Nice try, Sydney. Not today. Well, maybe today, but not right now anyway. Approaching the two-minute warning. It is a 3-3 hockey game. He would have absolutely destroyed me right there if it wasn't for the defense. Whoever that was in front of the net, I owe you big time. Because that would have been... Not only... Now I owe you even more. Victor Arvidsson gives the boys the lead with a minute and a half to go. This guy has been clutch. That didn't seem like it would have been a big hit. But apparently it was. Tom Wilson with the boarding call. Oh... So maybe that's why. I want to see the replay. Let's see how brutal this hit really was. <laughs> He's fuming. Seems about right. Are we going to get to see it? I think we are. Yep. And oh, okay. Yeah, that checks out. I completely agree with your decision, Mr. Referee, sir. Empty netter for Andrew Kopp gives us a 2-0 lead. How about that? Love to see it. We have the lead in the best of three. The Kraken are going down swinging. Have a very scary attack going right now, but thankfully, we have a two-goal lead, not just the one goal anymore. I wouldn't be surprised if they score here. Holy, the reaction time on that. Look how much time's left. Love that. 
There's... How? <laughs> Not a great night for Villy. Five goals on 27 shots. But, uh, you know, the other goalie... Not too shabby. Whoever that guy is. Now the question has to be asked, will we delete the Seattle Kraken in this video or will there be a game seven to start the next episode? Let's go ahead and find out right now. We do have the momentum at the moment. I think we're in, oh, okay. Thanks for that pasta. First shot of the game. Let's see how the first period goes. Not bad, not bad. Second period, it's a tie game. It's anybody's. This is it. We could complete the revenge tour in this video, or like I said, the Seattle Kraken could push a game seven. I really am not a fan of that idea, so I would much prefer if we just finished up here now. Where is it? Where is it? Smother it! I thought it wasn't gonna let me smother it for a second. I was gonna be so upset, but thankfully he finally got the glove on it for the face off. Pasta was all up in my grill. Player's not doing much about it. We lost the battle. They tried it again. I don't know what happened there, but managed to catch it after all that. Stone absolutely gets by his defender by jamming on the brakes. Don't see that happen too often. Fowler gets it from Billy Husso, headmans it to Marshawn. And here come the Seattle Kraken. Scratch that. They lost it almost immediately. Nate! Ooh, he tried to go five hole again. He is really loving that right now. Nice draw win. White Cloud goes to Gostas Bear. Look at this play. You'd think we practiced it or something. Battle below the net. Wilson will be there. Gets crunched against the boards, but takes the hit to make the play. Too bad it didn't amount to much because the Golden Knights get it right back. Never mind. Sydney the Kidney had other plans, but it doesn't matter because we played the Uno reverse card on him. Jack, nice try. He walked out, had a prime opportunity in front of the net. Billy Huso just stayed with him and shut it down. Here's Val, he's behind the net. He gets pinned by White Cloud. Our team decides, nope, not gonna go help him. He can do it himself. No, they finally sent someone in. All right, good job. I don't know if you guys have seen that clip, which by the way, again, gonna be super old by the time this comes out. But I think it was Rantanen was on the hot mic. And he came in over the blue line. And obviously, I'm going to leave one word out. But he's like, where is everybody? <laughs> it's pretty funny. Nice try. No siree. Tom Wilson. Tried to do... They love that play all of a sudden. Just chilling behind the net. And go for the pass goal. I see what you're doing here. And I don't like it. That was a happy Gilmore reference, by the way. If anybody cares. Another good draw win. We're killing it in the dot tonight. Bedard gets the rebound that Villy kicked into the corner. Manages to bring it behind the net to Pionk. Who tries to make a breakout play here and he succeeds. Pasta is in. That will be blocked by our defender and Gavrikov will now set it up for the Golden Knights. Oh no. That's a big hit. Thankfully we still got it out though. How did he score that? Where did he put this puck? It must have just barely gone over the glove. But the Golden Knights have the lead in the third period with a 3-2 series. We could end this thing right now. Atta boy, Nate. And he even does the 12-6 elbow on whoever that was. Totally illegal, but I'll turn a blind eye for that one. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. You show me someone who says they could save that, and I'll show you a liar. Nice. William. Where was the shot? You had the prime opportunity. It's okay. We can make up for it here. Nachushkin ends up getting it. Passes it to Sydney the Kidney. And now we manage to take it from them in the neutral zone. Back on the attack. Stone getting fancy with it. We all Oh, we did keep it in. Hmm. Questionable. Questionable. Crosby just got wrecked by the boards. That will be steered aside. Thought he was going to go for the pass because they seem to be doing that a lot recently. I don't know what happened to the Kraken, but they are big fans of the cross crease out of seemingly nowhere. Great passing play here that they're setting up. I was almost stuck in the animation, but thankfully the puck did not bounce aggressively towards the net. 
Not like this. Not like this! Ho ho ho! I don't know who you are. That was Marshawn. That makes it that much better. They're behind the net again. Go back to the point. Brad has it. He lost it to Stone. Two seconds to go. All right, we're headed to overtime yet again. I want to see if this dramatic save had any purpose or if it was just exceedingly unnecessary. Wait, hold on. Are you kidding me? Brad had the game on his twig. Did I even save it? Or did it hit the side of the net? We need a better angle for this. I don't know what to do. Like here maybe? Let's see. So pulls it back. Goes for the shot. No, I, that's me. That's all me. Yo, they need to chill. I have not seen, like I said, whenever the playoffs come around, the computers just turn it up to another gear. They don't play like this all year. And then as soon as the Stanley Cup playoffs come rolling on up, they're all of a sudden insane. We need to score one, one measly goal to put the Seattle Kraken out of the playoffs. And oh my, are you kidding me? We're going to be shorthanded now. Well, that's not good. Nice try, Brad. Nice try. Nope. We killed off that penalty relatively easily, but... Okay, okay. Get it under control here. Get it under control. I was a fish out of water. Get wrecked. Did you see that? I mean, you probably did because you're watching the video, but... Holy! TJ! Way to make up for flopping around and almost costing us the game. Veneer is able to walk in and he gets pushed into me by three of our players. Thankfully, the puck did not cross the line. Still have a chance here to win this hockey game and send the Seattle Kraken packing. What a save by Villy. Yes? No. No. That is not what you do in that scenario. Have you not played NHL since like NHL 03? Cross crease is the meta. Nope. On the goal line. That will be saved. Nichushkin gets it right back. I really... I just don't want to do a game 7 against these guys. I'm going to be honest. 45 shots. I'm, I'm so upset. I'm so upset right now. Now I'm going to have to do meetings and stuff too. Because the guy's going to be like, Oh wow, you found yourself in Coit's predicament there. Are you going to win the next game? <laughs> like, no, I'm not. What did I tell you? Immediately after I said that, here we go. I'm going to go with the team answer. And then it's going to ask me to make a promise. I can't do diplomatic, so... There you go, have it your way. It wasn't enough to just win. We also have to get a 9-10 save percentage, so great. Well, we had the chance and we just didn't get it done. I'm gonna be honest, not a great performance from TJ in that one either. Some clutch saves, definitely, but overall, not the strongest showing. Here is the playoff tree as it sits right now. There is only two series. No, we're the only series still going. Every other series is done. I really don't want this to be the way that we leave the Golden Knights. But we will find out. I feel like if we lose and the Seattle Kraken offer me a contract, I have to take it. I can't say no because, like I said, they are literally owning me right now. All right, well, thank you for watching. Hopefully this is keeping you on your toes because it is for me. I'm on the edge of my seat and I'm actually playing the game here. On that note, I'll see you soon.